We've been talking about it for a couple of months now. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons will be retiring at the end of the year after more than 40 years here at 13 on your side. And as part of his farewell tour, he's visiting events around West Michigan. And today he's out at Fruitport Old Fashioned Days with our first look at the forecast. Hey there, George. A beautiful evening out here in Fruitport. Glad to be here. We have got a, such a beautiful afternoon going on. We got some live music. I've been listening uh, to the Spring Lake folks there, and lots of folks have come out for the entertainment here tonight. As we look around, we've got uh, carnival rides that are taking place here this evening until 10 o'clock, and I'm over here for participation in the senior dinner. That's what those folks are lined up there. And so we got some great weather here this evening. Let's take a look at our weather maps. Sunshine just about everywhere. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds to the north back across the lake. Uh, yeah, there are some pop up showers, but those are not going to reach us. What will is perhaps some of those storms back in the Dakotas and Nebraska. That's where the severe weather is expected this evening, but some of that's going to translate toward us later in the day tomorrow out ahead of that cold front. That cold front is going to drop our temperatures out of the 70s today and 80s tomorrow back down to around 70 by the time it moves through on Saturday. It is 76 here in Grand Rapids, a little bit of a breeze here along the lakeshore, feeling pretty good. It's still in the 70s, well back to our west. We'll have south winds next couple of days, and that's going to get us up into the 80s tomorrow. 75 here at the lakeshore, 76 inland, 78 down in Kalamazoo and over in Ionia, representing about a 5 to 10 degree jump from where we were yesterday. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the music here, live music this evening here in Fruitport, and we'll be back with you for the full forecast here in about 10 minutes or so. Another gorgeous day today, and it would be pretty nice to be out at a festival or fair oh, this evening. Oh man, the last couple of years, George, the weather's been perfect mm -hmm. when you guys were at Old Fashioned Days, and another picture perfect day. Well, they know how to pick them, I just know they do. Yeah, we're here in Fruitport, Pomona Park, uh, at the end of Jerusalem Bayou, I think, leading out to the Grand River. It is a gorgeous afternoon. The lilacs and the spirea are in blossom, and there's just lots of excitement. We have a, a live jazz band out here as well, and lots of food and entertainment uh, taking place. And this is the place to be this weekend. There's going to be a ride to remember later on this weekend, a parade, a kitty parade, and also tonight they have the senior dinner going on. What's ahead for Friday here in West Michigan? Heading into the long holiday weekend, 13 weather ball is red. Even warmer weather ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball, sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And around the region, we've got a good deal of sunshine. Hardly a cloud in the sky. I can't see a cloud in the sky here. There are a few clouds around, but most of them are well off to the northeast. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds and some scattered showers and oh, pop up thunderstorms in Wisconsin. None of those are going to make it here. In fact, they're going to dissipate once the sun goes down. More of a concern is the weather off to our west. There's a very long, skinny, severe thunderstorm watch from the Dakotas down into Nebraska. You can see some storms starting to develop with that. That is the next system that we're going to be watching. Uh, the storm it looks like it's going to come in about three hours earlier than we forecast yesterday and because of that there is a chance they've upgraded West Michigan to a marginal risk for severe weather over all of West Michigan and from about South Haven southward most likely down into Chicago and St. Louis there is a two out of five risk and I guess the best risk would come from some damaging winds and that's all depending on what happens here tonight let's track it this is our most accurate model with showers and thunderstorms nothing here tonight in fact clear tonight and uh, mostly sunny skies up until the middle part of the day. Around 5 o'clock is showing that line of some storms coming into West Michigan, and then they're going to be out of here by 11 o'clock in the evening. And then we head into Saturday. It should be very nice. Lots of sunshine, and we'll continue with that sunshine all day Saturday, so no issues there. Now, the uh, European model is showing a little bit different scenario. It doesn't show the showers and storms coming in until right around 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. That will make a big difference. Uh, whether or not the storms will be strong enough to produce severe weather or not. But again, it is going to be clearing out on Saturday. But the next weather system, that'll be coming in on Sunday afternoon into Monday, and that means we're going to see some rain and some wind starting Sunday afternoon and all the way through Monday. Temperature-wise, we'll be up into the low 80s here tomorrow, and we'll be in the low 70s on Saturday because of the rain approaching, and then 75 on Sunday before the rain arrives. Looking farther ahead, an equal chance for warmer or cooler temperatures from the end of May through early June, 
and an equal chance for more or less rainfall also during that five day period. So tonight, clear skies will dip down into the upper 40s and low and mid 50s, 54 here in Fruitport. Upper 40s to near 50 under clear skies tonight, just past full moon. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, overnight lows in the low 50s. 13 on your side forecast. It'll be windy and wet on Memorial Day, not the best for the end of the holiday weekend. Dry Tuesday with some overnight showers Tuesday night. First part of next week, warming up into the 70s again by Thursday. There could be some light rain chances next weekend. So what a beautiful evening here in West Michigan. Coming up later on, we'll show you a little bit closer timeline and the risks for severe weather coming up late tomorrow. our live coverage here in West Michigan. It is a beautiful day here in Fruitport for the Fruitport Old Fashioned Days at Pomona Park. Can't ask for a better day. Beautiful sunshine, comfortable temperatures and humidities. What's ahead as we go into the weekend? Your Friday, 13 weather ball is red. We have much warmer weather ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And if you're going to be walking the dog here in Fruitport or anywhere here in West Michigan, look at those blue skies. Introducing uh, Brady and Emma I'm going to give you the green paw for Ashley to take you out for a walk this evening. We'll drop into the 60s by 10 o'clock and we'll be in the 50s if you get up and you're an early riser like I'm not. Uh, we'll be climbing back into the low 80s during the day tomorrow, but watch out for some storms at the end of the day. Not as much sunshine tomorrow because we're going to see some clouds rolling in later on in the afternoon. We become mostly cloudy and uh, the winds will be down a little bit from what they were today, but all eyes are on some storms back to our west. Nothing going on right now. The storms you see up there near Sheboygan, Wisconsin, those are just uh, little pop up showers uh, here this afternoon and they're going to fall apart before or a little bit after the sun goes down. We're watching the area of storms way back in North and South Dakota that may arrive here later on tomorrow afternoon. Our model, one of our models is showing those showers uh, dissipating over Wisconsin this evening. This is the area that we're a little concerned about. Depends on how long or how strong they are tonight, whether or not they make it into West Michigan. Uh, this model has been pretty good with showing those storms missing us on a Tuesday night. This is five o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. They're already crossing Lake Michigan and between about five and 10 p.m. is when our greatest threat for storms would be if this model is indeed correct. And it has a history of being good. And then the sky is clear. We start the day and end the day with sunshine during the day on Saturday. We like that. So uh, we're going to see most of our time here in Fruitport without any storms. It's just tomorrow evening. Now, this is the European model, which I always go to, but uh, it is showing the showers and storms coming up a little bit later, maybe about three hours later and then they're going to move out quickly on Saturday morning as well. So sunshine all day on Saturday. It is the end of the holiday weekend starting Sunday afternoon. And we're watching the showers and storms coming through, mainly just showers from the Sunday afternoon all the way through Sunday night and into most of the day on Monday. So yeah, wet end of the holiday weekend. 83 expected here tomorrow. We'll drop to 71 on Saturday as skies are going to be sunny and the winds turning around to the west and northwest. Then a little warmer on Sunday before that next round of showers moves on through. Farther ahead after the holiday weekend, starting the month of June, we're back to higher chances for warmer temperatures after a brief cool down and a little bit higher chance that we could see more rain during that seven day period for the start of June. Forecast for tonight, beautiful, clear skies, upper 40s to near 50 northern part of the Lakeshore zone, low and mid 50s here in Fruitport, Muskegon and down toward Holland and South Haven, upper 40s along US 10, 50 plus uh, Fremont and Greenville with a winds light out of the west this evening. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we're going to see uh, temperatures dropping into the low 50s with that uh, just past a full moon in the sky. 13 on your side forecast. Sunshine to start your day with some haze on Friday up to 83 before those storms move in. A likely late afternoon towards evening now, but clearing out, giving way to sunny skies and 71 Saturday, 75 on Sunday. The rain moves back in Sunday afternoon all the way through Sunday night and then windy with rain on Monday, only 65. Uh, we'll see a dry day Tuesday and then decreasing clouds on Wednesday, finally back into the 70s as you saw there. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday next weekend, first weekend of June, but it also looks like there's at least a chance of some scattered showers. But what a perfect evening here in Fruitport, just enjoying uh, the, uh, the uh, folks and the, the live music. It is great, have fun, George, have thanks. Fun.
If you're looking for something fun to do tonight, Fruitport is the place to be, which is where Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is at Old Fashioned Days. It's always a fun time there, George. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've been here to Old Fashioned Days, but it does not disappoint. We got good food going on. We've had some live music as well. Perfect temperatures and a very nice evening and may end up doing one of these rides later on tonight. Uh, tonight is the place to be because tomorrow we have a chance of some storms here about this time in Fruitport and across West Michigan. In the meantime, 13 Weather Ball is red. Your Friday, much warmer weather ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored today by Countryside warm. Greenhouse. They did warm up into the mid and upper 70s, including 77 here in Grand Rapids. Not quite as warm as last year's 82, but above our average high of 72. We forecast 78 today, and so far we're th within our target range. We've done that two days in a row now. We're looking at some showers and uh, very uh, small showers and a couple of thunderstorms over in Wisconsin, but that's not what we're focusing on here tonight. Those are all going to fall apart once the sun goes down. What we're focusing on is that line of storms across the Dakotas that will eventually get here later on tomorrow. Timing of which is still uncertain, but uh, models have been pushing it in a little bit earlier and because it is coming in a little bit earlier, we have uh, been increased to a marginal risk for a Grand Rapids, Holland and Muskegon northward and a slight risk or a two down toward the Chicago area. If we do get any severe weather, it most likely will be in the form of some damaging winds, smaller chance for hail, and pretty much uh, zero chance for any tornadoes here in tomorrow. Let's track the storms hour by hour. There are those dissipating showers. We're just going to see clear skies overnight and lots of sunshine to start our day Friday. But look at that shower and thunderstorm line. If the timing is correct, then we'll be approaching the Fruitport area and Lake Michigan shoreline right around 6, but it'll be done by 11 o'clock and maybe just a passing shower the rest of the overnight. And Saturday, we're going to start our, and end our day with lots of sunshine and temperatures will be in the low 70s. Now, our European model is going to take us through that same timeline. It says they're not going to get quite here as quick as our uh, 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 thunderstorm model. You can see this is 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Let's hope for this because a line of some showers will come through and Saturday we'll see sunshine all day long. Now it's the second half of the weekend that we're a little concerned about. It's on Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. There's going to be some rain moving in, could be some wind as well, and that's going to translate over into the holiday on Monday. So Sunday afternoon through Monday, uh, not the best for the weekend. Forecast then for tomorrow, we'll call for morning sunshine, increasing clouds late in the day, but uh, we'll update you on the timing of those storms. They'll come in late in the day or in the evening. Uh, temperatures before that happens up into the low and mid 80s, and it'll get humid tomorrow evening. To the north, low 80s here, morning sunshine, afternoon clouds late in the day, either just before or around sundown with those storms is similar here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Arriving at the lakeshore first into the inland areas a little bit later on, but low and mid 80s. 13 on your side forecast. So becoming sunny on Saturday, dropping from 83 to 71, 75 on Sunday before those afternoon and overnight rain showers come in. As that storm moves through, it's going to get rather windy and wet and only 65 on the holiday Monday. Sunny and uh, dry on Tuesday, some light showers Tuesday night possible, then more dry weather Wednesday, warming to 75 and sunny on Thursday. The end of next week and the following weekend looks like it'll be a little bit cloudier and maybe a chance of a shower both Saturday and Sunday.